cook uh, medical legal importance by shape of the wound the class and type of the weapon can be determined um, length is smaller than the depth unless it is manipulated for example if the uh, this weapon is thrust inside the body and is um, there is a rocking movement or uh, if uh, if it's thrust inside and again another um, wound is wound track may be present you know partially removed and thrust again another wound track may be present so unless it is manipulated uh, the length is smaller than the depth breadth depends upon the elasticity and laxness of the skin and uh, you can see this spindle shaped wound even in case of stab injury if you see this kind of wound then you know that the weapon that was used is double edged double edged one because both the edge of the weapon is sharp in this picture this is single edged weapon all right one edge is blunt another weapon edge is sharp okay so in this picture it's both the edges are sharp Okay, if both the edges are sharp, then this type of wound, spindle shaped, shaped or elliptical shaped weapon uh, wound is seen. If it's single edged, Ogiko weapon, ma, then you can see triangular or wedged shaped uh, injury. If it's double edged, then elliptical or slit like injury is seen. If it's blunt, pointed, inverted, ragged, and bruised, margin is seen. If broken uh, bottle cluster of uh, bottle, broken bottle is used, then cluster of wounds of different shape and size with depth uh, and depth with irregular margin is seen. Pointed square boy money, cross shaped wound is seen, screwdriver one list, slit like wound with square ends is seen l or v uh, shaped boy when you produce by twisting and rocking movement of the uh, rocking movement can, uh, of the weapon made this l or v shaped one fork is used then cluster of three two to three ones can be seen if scissor is used again scissor can be used in two manner or if it's in a uh, closed form then you can see a linear stab with abrasion margin. If it's open, then you can see true triangular stab wound because one end is blunt you know, and another edge is sharp. Therefore, you can see two triangular stab wound. Knife with serrated edges, boy, one say, torn or ragged uh, margins with abrasion can be seen. <coughs> And in case of uh, stab injury, the margins are clean cut without bruising. But again, it depends upon the type of weapon used. If rod is used, you see there's no uh, sharp edge. So it's a blunt, blunt type of instrument. And yes, rod can even produce per, uh, pen punctured wound. A penetrating punctured or perforating punctured wound. So depending upon the weapon, uh, if it's sharp, then usually clean cut without bruising. Entry one ma it's inverted and exit one ma inverted. what is inverted and what is inverted. Entry ma it's usually inverted and exit ma inverted. But again, you should remember is that if the weapon or the instrument is inside the body when you, it, you are examining, then this is what you see. But if the weapon is removed, and then body is sent for examination. Exactly the opposite is seen. You know, remove one of the things. Entry ma, it's everted, and exit ma, it's inverted. So that is how you uh, um, identify which one is entry wound and which one is exit wound. If bruises are present, then it can be completely inserted. Okay, my dear, create a picture. They have got this is the picture where a hole of the instrument is inserted inside the body and you don't see any bruises in the margin but near to the margin you can see some kind of bruising present which is known as 
hilt mark injury. Okay, since this hilt is blunt, so it produces contusion. If the force is extreme and is inserted in the body, then you can see hilt mark, mark injury, which determines that the uh, weapon was completely inserted inside. Direction and dimension, if it's in the acute angle, if it penetrates in the acute angle, then you can see bevelt margin. If weapon is partially withdrawn and thrust again, two or more punctured wounds are seen with one external wound. All you might want to say, if it's partially withdrawn, and uh, don't don't get confused. Yota weapon where Yota entry wound, but two exit wound is there. How is it possible? Right? You can, it can be partially removed and again inserted inside the body. Depth will indicate the force of penetration. Why this force of penetration is required to know about the intention of a person. Okay, so depth determines the uh, force of penetration. And depth is the length of the track, which is greater than the width and the length of the external injury. It is usually equal or less than the length of the blade, but it depends upon the following condition. And usually, it's a, a the length of the weapon, uh, length of the wound track is same. But again, it can vary according to the condition of the knife. It can resistance offered by the tissue or the organ, clothing present, area of the body involved, variety of the posture. These are the various factors which determine the length of the wound. Age, again, it's similar to incised wound. You know, what is the age or healing pattern? Mode of production can be suicide, homicide, and accident. Any one of them can occur in penetrating wound. If a broken fragment of a weapon is present inside the wound track, we can identify the weapon as well. So there is this homicidal stab injury uh, with the various kitchen utensils. Many of the weapons were left in the place okay so even uh, this fork was used and uh, we talked about the type or class of a weapon if fork is used then there is a cluster of two or three punctured wound punctured injury you know so this is an ideal example for punctured wound before that i want to ask you what type of injury is this medical legally what type of injury is this Medical legal classification, kyo your injury ko. Homicidal. Homicidal, good. Sudip, why do you say it's a homicidal go? Because it was intended to murder. I know with an infant, buze my dear, homicidal go, it's from uh, it's in the intention of murder, but why do you support your answer? Homicidal, why not suicidal or accidental in nature? Suicidal, I feel back, ma'am. Back, yes. yes ma Area of the body involved is back of the body, which is very, very and not so possible. I know it's suicidal, ma'am. Why not accidental? Multiple stab or something. Multiple stab injuries are there. You know, accidental work, maybe one or two stab injuries there. You know, especially if a person falls from a height and uh, body uh, is stabbed by the grill. You know, grill leg or go to a stab injury boy. You know, but but here there are multiple stab injuries. You know, my you know question so that this is how you should be answering. Why uh, accidental bone? But again, it's not been accidental bone. But if you are able to support your answer, you'll be given some marks. You know, right answer now. If you support your answer, you'll be given. Of of course, you'll be given some marks at least. Okay. So before answering, please think and answer. You know, why? Why? Like your question, is there an injury or is there a sore injury? All right, let's end it here. But before ending, I have one question for you all. How do you examine the stab or punctured wound? You know, I'll be asking you that question in next class. 
and uh, then in next class we'll be starting with forensic ballistics so please go through that chapter before coming to class i'll see you on friday if you have got any question please you can uh, ask me we have got five minutes more hey no busy go so i know any we can sign off now thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you ma'am yes sachi dur ma'am kei sunne na sachi phir ramri bhano to kei cha bhane bhano no to will sign off okay lo have a good day thank you ma'am